Hello guys, welcome to Algorithms Made Easy. Today we will be discussing the question Spiral Matrix Part 2. In this question, we are given a positive integer n and we need to generate an n cross n matrix filled with the elements from 1 to n square in spiral order. In the first example, we can see the pattern in which we need to fill up this matrix of n cross n. In the first part of this problem, we were given the matrix and we need to return the value in the spiral fashion. While in this, we are only given the n and we need to generate the matrix. So both the problems can be solved using the same technique. Let's see the basic idea of how we can solve this problem. So this is the matrix given to us and this is the fashion in which we need to move. So we can see that if we give the row and column coordinate to the corners point, we have 0, 0, 0, 0,0, 0,2, 2, 2 and 2, 0. So what this means is the rows can be from 0 to 2. There can be two variables to use that and there will be columns ranging from 0 to 2 as well. We need to fill the matrix in a layer fashion. We will be filling the outer layer first, then we will move the inside layer. When we will be done with the explanation, we will see how the logic of only one layer will be used in the inside layer as well. So just we need to create a logic to fill up one layer of this matrix. For the first row, we'll start from R1 and go all the way from C1 to C2, that is from 0th column to 2nd column. When we will fill this, we will reach the 0th row and 2nd column. Now, we need to move downwards. So, in order to do so, we will pick the C2 column and go from all the way from 0 to 2. We will reach 2nd row and 2nd column. Then we need to move into this R2 row, which is the 2nd row for now. And move till we reach the C1 column, that is the 1st column. So, we fill up to that. Once we are done, we will need to fill the 0th column starting from R2 till R1-1 and when we are done with it, we will be at value 8 all filled up and now we need to move into the inside layer. So we need to fill 9. Now, so how to fill 9? As we can see that the logic that we use to fill the outside layer will also be valid for the inside layer as well. But since the square will now shorten up, what needs to be done is the C1 will be incremented to one position and so the starting will be first column. The ending will also become shortened up by one. So C2 becomes one and same with the two rows as well. So now only the overlapping area of these column and rows need to be filled up and we will again apply the same logic and get our answer. So let's see how we can code this. As discussed, we need to have two values for the rows r1 and r2 r1 being 0 and r2 being n minus 1 and same with the columns as we need to store the values we will need an array so we'll create an two dimensional array and we need a value to be put in into this array starting from 1 so we'll have a value variable also we will loop till the range of columns and rows are at least 1 that means Now, as discussed, we need to start our looping from R1 row starting from C1 column up to C2. So, we'll do that. This is moving left to right. Now, we need to move down. So we discuss that we need to move into the column C2 starting from R1 plus 1 till R2. Now we need to move from right to left and then move up. So this two conditions are only possible if there exists any range that needs to be filled up. So we'll have two conditions over here that R1 should be less than R2 and C1 should be less than C2. So here we move right to left. So we discuss moving from right to left. We need to move in the row R2 starting from C2 minus 1 till C1 plus 1. So to do so, 
and then we need to move up and we discuss we will be moving in the seventh column starting from r2 till r1 minus 1 that is once all this is done we discuss that how we need to shorten our window equally from all the sides that means the r1 will be incremented and the r2 will be decremented c1 will be incremented and c2 will be decremented once all this is done we just need to simply return our array that is all so let's run this code so it gives proper result let's submit this so it got submitted successfully the time complexity of this algorithm is of n square while the space complexity is of 1 we are not considering the output array in the space complexity that's why we, it is constant thanks for watching the video see you in the next one